A box contained some pens. Mr. Wong sold one third of it on Monday and sold three eighths of the remainder on Tuesday. If he had a total of 525 pens, how many pens did he have at first? So, let's draw a model to show the total number of pens. This represents the total number of pens. So he sold one third of it on Monday. One third tells us to cut the model into three parts. With the first part, one third on Monday. And so three eighths of the remainder. So this two third must be the remainder. So three eighths of the remainder. Let me label the remainder. So I do a pull down model. I have the remainder here. I pull it down. And three of three eighth of the remainder. That means the eight tells us to cut the remainder into eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is three eight of the remainder? Here. So from here to here is three eight of the remainder. And this three eight is the amount of pens, number of pens, sorry, that's sold on Tuesday. So we can see that now. One unit here is cut into four parts. So actually we can equalize the number of units. So here can represent four units because here is also one, two, three, four. Here's another four units. One, two, three, four. So Everything is all together 12 units. So he sold a total of 525 pens. He sold 4 units on a Monday and 3 units on a Tuesday. The total number of units sold. The total number of units sold will be 7 units, right? Okay, let me pull the question out a little bit. So I have 7 units equals to 525. 1 unit equals to 525 divided by 7. So what do I get when I do a 525 Divide by 7. Let me use the calculator to calculate it. 525 divided by 7. It gives me a 75. So I get a 75 here. Now, what am I supposed to do? How many pens do you have at first? At first, tells us that we actually need this 12 units. So 12 units equals to 75 multiplied by 12 and that gives us a value of 900 pence. So the answer for the first question is 900. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's zoom in. It's a similar question. A fruit seller sold one quarter of his apples in the morning and two ninths of the remainder in the afternoon. If he sold a total of 345 apples, how many apples did he have at first? Let's draw a model to represent the total number of apples. So this model represents the total number of apples. And how many parts do we need to cut this model into? From this one quarter, this four here, 
you know that we need to cut it into four parts. Two, three, four. And one quarter is sold in the morning. So I label one quarter morning. And two knife of the remainder in the afternoon. So where's the remainder? This must be the remainder, right? After you sold one quarter in the morning, three quarter must be the remainder. Okay, and I label it remainder. Now we are asked to, we, they say that you actually have two knives sold in the afternoon. So I can do a pull down model. Pull down model. And draw it nicely. Two knife. So I'm going to cut it. Cut into how many parts? Nine parts, right? Because they say two over knife of the remainder. So let's see cut. So you see that one unit right here is equals to three parts. I may need to make them equal. So I can actually write one unit, one unit, one unit. And this is equals to three units. Same goes for here. One, 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 three units. One one, one, three units. So the total we can see is actually 12 units. He sold two knife of the remainder in the afternoon. So we can see this is two over the whole thing is nine, right? So two over knife in the afternoon. So this is afternoon, A F T E R N O O N. Okay, afternoon. If he sold a total of 345 apples, so sold 3 units in the morning, 2 units in the afternoon. So 5 unit equals to 345. 1 unit equals to 345 divided by 5 equals to, let's calculate it, 345 divided by 5. Is equals to 69. So 69. How many apples did he have at first? At first is how many units? 12 units, right? You can see from here. At first, 12 units. Units. 69 times 12. Okay. Let's calculate. It'll be 828. 800 Twenty-eight. Okay, so I write eight hundred and twenty-eight as the final answer. Moving on to the next question. Okay, this is the next question. Patrick spent two over seven of his money on a shirt and one tenth of the remainder on a pair of sunglasses. The shirt cost $36 more than the pair of sunglasses. How much did he spend in total? So, a simple model to represent the total, number of, the total amount of money he has. So I'm going to draw a simple model. Okay, he spent two sevenths of his money. That means this is his total amount of money. I cut it up into seven parts. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, two sevens on a shirt. Okay, labor shirt. One tenth of the remainder. So this you can see is the remainder. Right? The remaining money. So this is the remainder. On a pair of sunglasses. So one tenth of the remainder, I need to pull it down again. Right? And after I pull it down, I 
a new kind do? How many parts? Ten parts. Right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one tenth on a pair of sunglasses. I just use the word sun, okay? Short form. So you can see that one unit here is equals to two parts, right? So I need to make them equal. One unit, one unit, two units. They're equal, right? You can see two units, two units. So I'm not going to fill in the rest here because you understood what I meant from the previous examples. I'm just going to fill up the main model. Okay, the main model. You can see. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14 units to represent the total amount of money he has altogether. The shirt costs $36 more than a pair of sunglasses. The shirt is 4 units. Sunglasses is 1 unit. So 4 units, 1 unit. The shirt costs $36 more. In other words, 4 units minus 1 unit, which is the difference, 3 units, right? Okay is equals to $36. Now I can combine my one unit, $36, divide by 3, equals to $12. Okay. Now, some mistakes here. Let me erase it. Okay. Okay, let's write it nicely. $12. Okay, so... $12 is for one unit. How much did he spend in total? Four units on a shirt, one unit on a pair of sunglasses altogether. Five units. So it equals to $12 multiplied by 5 equals to $60. So let's move it a little bit higher so we can fill in the answer. $60 altogether. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. This is the next question. Alright, let's zoom in so that we can have a clearer look at the question. Okay. We have in December, Mr. Tang saved three fifths of his money's salary and spent one third of the remainder on food. Now let's draw the amount that he received for his work, his salary. So the whole model represents the, the amount he received for his salary, monthly salary. He spent three fifths, oh, he saved three fifths. So I cut into five parts. One, two, three, four, five. So three out of the five, right? Is safe. One, two, three. This three is safe, right? And then spend one third of the remainder. So we know this must be the part. That's the remainder. He spent one third of the remainder. Pull down the model. So now I cut the remainder into how many parts? Three parts. One, two. Okay, so you know now remainder here is two. Here is three. How do I make them equal? I can actually use the lowest common multiple, right? Of 2 and 3. So the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 will be 6 units. Correct? 6 units. Okay? So it means here is 2 units, 2 units, 2 units, all together add up to 6 units. Here is 3 units, 3 units. You can see now I can make them equal. 
sometimes I call this equalizing, equalize both sides. Okay, equalize both sides by using the lowest common multiple. So you can see that he spent one third of the remainder of food. So here is one third. Here is one third. I'm going to spend on food. Okay, we view in the rest. Three unit, three unit, three unit. So we know that five times three units is 15 units. So his entire salary for the month will be 15 units. He saved 1,400 more than the amount he spent on food. He saved how many units? 9 units, right? Spent on food is 2 units. So difference in number of units will be 7 units, right? And that is $1,400. Can we find 1 unit? We can, right? 1,400 divided by 7 equals to $200. Okay, so they want to know how much did he save in that month. Save is 9 units, so 9 units equals to $200. Okay, I didn't write it nicely here, let me erase it. $200. Times nine equals to one thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay, again, untidy. Okay, let me try it out properly. Okay, one thousand eight hundred dollars. So I need to write my answer in the answer blank. Okay, one thousand eight hundred dollars. Pull it out. Write down. $1,800 so we've come to the end of the worksheet okay and this worksheet is on let's look at the title of the worksheet remainder concept alright so that's all for this worksheet